guys, Greg C96 here, and what for giving you just a quickie the last time on this update, I promise to give you all the full two minutes. So, without further ado, let us get started here. This is the episode three and four uh, combo updates since I got a little bit behind on the updates after the charity stream last weekend because I underestimated how tired I would feel after doing a 12 hour stream. So, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to start, uh, go bottom to top here on the list since I've been going top to bottom and I left all the names in order. Don't want anyone to feel left out. Plus that means Tim's going to watch the video all the way through since he's at the end. Uh, first up we got Kashka and Valen over at Mischief of Mice. Um, they spent episodes 3 and 4 mining and resourcing collecting, doing some farming and clearing some trees out. Uh, they found a jungle temple and made a dock, so that was cool. Uh, next up we got Taylor the Pig. He made a floating cobblestone hut out on a lake, which defies all laws of physics. Uh, he ventured to his old base to grab some resources because he forgot them there, uh, started a farm, and ended off the episode by mining. Next up, we got Emma Karn, and I don't know how I missed this. Emma Karn died at the very end of episode 2, accidentally walked off of his ladder, so I somehow missed that in the last update. Sorry about that, buddy. But, um, yeah, so he went down in episode number 2. Next up, we got Honeysuckle. She did a whole lot of tree clearing and caving in episode 3. I think it was episode 3. I didn't break out my notes by episode. I just kind of conglomerated them together. So it was one of the first ones I watched this time around, so I don't specifically remember. Um, she seemed a little bit too upset, though, that her fire did not do more damage. So <laughs> definitely don't want to mess with her. Uh, she made a pretty nice looking hut and started a vertical mine shaft, which I thought was interesting because I really only see people doing uh, stair step type mines. So it's kind of cool to see. Uh, next up, we got Granny's Got Game, who spent all of episodes three and four doing a bunch of treeing and expanding her treetop pathway, which I thought is a pretty cool approach for this challenge. Next up, we got Outfoxed, who struggled quite a bit to get saplings for a jungle giant he wants to build. Um, he cut trees the entirety of day three. On episode four, he did some terraforming and some treeing, and did some mining into the night. Next up, we got New Azusa, who found a jungle temple, and then another jungle temple, and then another jungle temple. In the span of two episodes, he found three jungle temples. If we thought Grandma's Gone Gaming had found a lot of jungle temples, she ain't got nothing on New Azusa at this point. He also got full gold armor from the jungle temples and tamed a wolf. Next up, we got Nobody's LP, All the Way J, and Katie Reed. Uh, they spent the episode caving, or the episodes caving. Uh, they were doing some farming and wall building at night, which is a little bit backwards. Um, they insulted Fish, the band. I don't remember exactly what my joke is here in my notes anymore. Apparently, it was supposed to be funny. <laughs> But, you know, I'm, I'm not too good at that always, so I don't remember what the hell my note even means. Um, yeah. Uh, they found my ravine and ran right past it, claiming that they didn't need anything from it. So, I'm hurt. I'm really hurt. And they adventured quite a ways and found a temple. So, we had a lot of temple finding in days three and four. Uh, next up in here is myself. And I didn't put any notes, but I think I spent episodes three and four... What did I do in 3 and 4? I think I just did some like work on my treehouse. I don't think I accomplished very much. Uh, next up we got the Load Central crew. They did mining treeing and had a conversation about names that went on for quite a while. Then they got to the nether. Uh, next up we got Dadcraft73. He tamed a parrot. Uh, he built a dock. He His parrot got stuck in a boat, which I didn't know was possible. So it doesn't make sense since you get any entity in a boat. But I just I found it weird. I saw it. I found it weird. Uh, he lost his entire cocoa bean farm to a single creeper, and he was working on a loft towards the end of the episode. Next up, we got Dark Age Man. I pronounced his name right this time, I think. I'm slightly out of focus. That's better. Um, he is working on a pretty interesting challenge this month. He wants to bring the ravine, or bring the jungle underground, and he's doing a pretty good job of it so far. It's an interesting approach to this challenge, and it's pretty enjoyable. I would just recommend go watching it. Uh, next up, we got Linda over at Grandma's Gone Gaming. She found herself a third temple, and she's still traveling all the way through episode four. I don't really think she stopped moving much at all. 
So she clearly has a plan that I am not aware of, but she keeps going, going, going. Um, next up, we got Dragon Feathers Mind and Collected Leaves and Vines for the majority of Episode 3. And at the very, very end of Episode 3, she lost a battle with a creeper. And unfortunately, she was eliminated from the challenge. Uh, better luck next time around. Next up, we got JD Javadad. He did some tree chopping and some digging for a lot of the episode. He got a parrot. Uh, he worked on some more of his tree platforms. Got more parrots. And just did a bunch of work on his little, I'm calling it village in the trees. Um, next up, we got Baker Bell. Uh, she spent a lot of time in episode 3 training and gardening. She did a lot. She did work on burning down the jungle as well. We have some arsonists in the group who are revealing themselves. Um, somewhere in the background, someone decided a paint can would be a pretty good drum to play during her episode. She did some rooftop fishing to end the night on episode 3. And pulled a Greg on episode 4. About 2 minutes in, got taken out by a skeleton. Uh, next up, we got Original Junior. He treed, mined, and farmed. He's not so sure if he's going to hit his jetpack goal, which is pretty disappointing. I thought it would be cool, but he's still going to try for it. And he got his smeltery up and running. So I'm assuming that's a good thing. Again, I don't really mod that much. I'm not sure. Seems like he's making good progress. Uh, next up, we got our buddy John Fall, the original player update guy. Um, he did some treeing vine cutting to get some leaves and vines and whatnot. Uh, he did the floor on a stairway, so it was what I thought. It was the um, half slab stairway. Similar dimensions to what I'm doing, just on a much larger scale. Um, he did some fancy schmancy leaf lighting where he hit all of his torches. And up at the very top of that, towards the top of the hill, right at the base of a big tree, he worked on a landing with uh, some fencing and whatnot it's looking pretty cool so far definitely a very nice build and last but not least we got tim who all of episode three just kept digging down he was mining all of episode three then in episode four he did some fishing he did some treeing and did some more mining and overall didn't accomplish much too much at all holy crap that was very hard. I don't even know how I just spoke through half of that. I was stuttering quite a bit. My apologies on that one. But yeah, so, um, again, like always, I think I got everyone. If I didn't, please let me know down in the comments if I missed you, and I'll make sure I don't do it again. But if not, I hope you guys enjoyed the update. We'll see you back here for, should be tomorrow night that I'm posting the episode 5 update. So uh, we'll see you back here then. Peace. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you're still in the mood to watch some more, why don't you check out one of these previous videos here? Or if you want to watch more later, but not right now, that's cool too. If you click on one of my lovely pieces of wall art here, you can either subscribe to myself or to the Big Box of Gamers channel. Just make sure after you subscribe, you click that little bell notification icon there to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.